Carlo right here. I do. And they're going to be extremely hot. Chef Ramsay is eager to see how Jorge leads his team in the kitchen. Okay, Ebony, talk to me. Where are you at right now? Table 12 is working. No, it's not working yet. I don't think it's, it's Jesse. OK, 42 needs to go out. Chef, are you ready on 42? What's up, 42? Wow. Hold on, 10. Wait, wait. Jorge doesn't know what he's doing. Matt, Jesse, what are you guys working on right now? We need to have scallops on 36. I'm, I'm not ready on the scallop. What scallop are you? We're doing 36 right now. Unbelievable. It's crazy that someone thinks that they can come out of culinary school and run a restaurant when you don't have any experience. Is Jorge running the kitchen, or do they just don't do what they want? No, he's running the kitchen. He is. He's a little overwhelmed right now. He's overwhelmed. I think, I think he might be. My God. How is everything? Oh, I mean, it's really spicy. It's all in the middle. Let me see the inside of this. Oh, wow. OK, let me take that back. We're going to work on that. Chef? What is the issue? Uh, it's dry. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. OK. I'm fucking real. What's wrong with that one, darling? It's cold. Oh, no. It's medium rare. It's cold centered. Medium rare is going to be cold centered. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, my god. It's so frustrating. I'm a good server. Like, and you're just making me look bad. And that's my money. Like, that's my tip. So now it's like you're messing with my money now. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's raw. I mean, you can't sell that to customers. What is that? That's raw. You cannot serve it like that. Chef Jorge thinks that his food is to perfection. Like, he should be cooking for President Obama. All right, you OK? Yeah. But I thought you owned the place, ran the place. I do. I'm just struggling to see a head chef right now. Yes, well, I've been... But the stuff that's coming back is stuff that's either gone overcooked or undercooked. Yeah, yeah. that's you right. need to wake up a little bit. Anyhow. Jesus. With Chef Jorge losing complete control of his kitchen. How are we going? 20 B. It's going to be eight minutes. What? The servers are frustrated. Table 20A, really needed. And not surprisingly, they aren't the only ones. Uh, I'm doing all I can at this point. It's our first time. It's probably going to be our last. Is there any way you can go to the table and do what you can do? Where do I go? Where do I go beyond that? Richard does not like to deal with the complaints. Wow. I feel like we, as servers, are running this restaurant. I need Rich. Don't we all? Richard, can I, have you got, you got two seconds? Yes, sir. Yeah, quickly, please. What's happening? What do you mean? What's your role? As far as table times and so forth? No, just in general. Well, we're right now we're in the weeds. I'm, let, I'm, letting, I'm letting him do his Wait. thing. But you're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. You just stand around and sort of glide. Well, right now we're overwhelmed. The, the house is full. Oh, come on, Richard. Come on. I don't, I, I don't even know where to begin with the tables. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, come, come on. on, Richard. Doing dinner service, I don't know what to do differently. I'm at a loss. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss. Yeah, I hear you. So I personally don't get involved. OK, here's your crab cake right here. Can I get some runners, please? Yes, I'm here to run. Yeah, I'm here to run. Run away. This is a joke. I've never seen two owners that are more clueless at running a place than these two idiots, I'm telling you. Richard just walks around, and it's almost like he's in a dream. And Jorge, the self-appointed executive chef, that guy hasn't got a clue. Thank God the locals boycotted this place, because if they ate here, they'd never come back. Park Edge? Yeah, on the edge of a fucking disaster. What a nightmare. What? What else do you freeze? I don't know. You want to come see? Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, if you don't know, let's find out. What is it that? You freeze meatballs? When were these made? We buy them. You buy them meatballs? He can't make a meatball? No puedes hacer meatballs aquí? He said, yeah, we can. He can't make a meatball? He doesn't want to. No quieres hacer meatballs? Or... No, 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 no. Oh, wow. Can you make a meatball? Yeah. My hands are tied in this kitchen. I don't have any input on what goes on. Tatiana should step up to the plate, and she should know what's going on in the kitchen. That's her job. What is that? Noodles. Noodles? What's the chef expecting? A rush on pasta? Wow. How much pasta does one chef need? He's obsessed with it. It's all, all overcooked. What's in this one? Pizza dough. Holy crap. This is just for the pizza, not the bread. Not the bread. And this dough here? Same thing. Small and large. Small and large. Small and large. Look at this one, then. My god. 
What the fuck? This is what goes on daily. All that bread like this and all that pasta. Wow. What's he doing with all this stuff? I have to prepare this in the mornings for the volume of people. There's not enough time to prepare everything with everything he has to prepare in the day. So what happens when he doesn't sell this? Where does it go? Throw it away. He throws it away. How much do we throw away? There are times where we've thrown away a lot of pasta because people aren't ordering it. Paddy and Val, this is your house. This is you. This is your life right here in the trash. Tatiana, what I'm more concerned about is the fact that you're oblivious. You're like an airhead that's got her head in the clouds. This is business. It was a unsuccessful business before. You picked it up and maintained that unsuccessful menu in an unsuccessful business. You come in, change nothing. You can't direct any form of criticism or standards to your chefs. I don't even know why you bought the place. And I certainly wouldn't pull my sister down and bring my parents into it to facilitate your ego dream. Don't you understand? Like, I look at my mother and I feel horrible. I feel horrible that Excuse I just me. To her. Don't start looking for sympathy now. Who I'm wanted this place? Sympathy, I'm I sorry. It wasn't your mother's dream. It certainly wasn't Val's dream. Or am I wrong? No, it was Tati's dream. Tati's dream, which is now come back to bite you on the ass. What hurts me is not how you feel. It's what's going to happen to them if this doesn't work. House gone, house gone. What are you going to do? I don't know, Gordon. I don't know. But why did you do it? Because I, I thought I could make it successful because I believed in myself. What, and not make changes? What the hell were you thinking? Where are you going? Wow. What a joke. I resent my sister for putting me in this position. She needs to be knocked off her high horse. And now Chef Ramsay's making her really see that she does not know it all. It's like, I just feel completely alone and worthless. And I don't know what to do. Dreadful. What a shame. Amanda? It's dry. Fish is dry? Well, the whole batter just sort of just almost like peels away from it. Those fries? What a shame. You don't like the fries? Well, it's just all soggy. Look at my fingers. Yeah. When you have fish and chips, and the tastiest thing on the plate is the tartar sauce, it's a big disappointment. I love fish and chips. What a shame. Wow. Sorry, Chef. The cooks are doing the best that they can with the way they've been told to do things. So it's Nisa's fault. What's wrong? Greasy fish, fry, the batter's just falling off of it. And instead, the fries, they were mushy. Really? That's weird. Okay. And he squeezed it, and all this like grease was all over his hand. French fries, you know, you get some potatoes that are one way, and some potatoes are another way. And I'm having a problem with the consistency of the potatoes. I mean, it's just making me crazy. Right. Do you have the meat loaf? Coming off. Like now. Thanks, Tess. <laughs> Jeez. And this one is? And the meatloaf. Thank you. Much better than Mom's meatloaf. That is a very bold statement. Thank you. Thank It's like a flamingo turd just landed on my plate. Wow. Rocky's raw. That's dreadful. What a shame. Damn, that was disappointing. It's the mm -hmm. actual flavor uh, of the meatloaf. Meat yeah, and the uh, demi glass is just mm -hmm. so thick. Sometimes it can be runny. Today, it's actually thick. Well, it's just marred everything, like a big, thick varnish that just takes yeah. up nothing. Whose recipe is this? Um, I believe it's Denise's. Denise's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Better than Mum's meatloaf. Thank God my mum's not joining me for lunch today. <laughs> Thanks, darling. Yes, sir. Wow. And will you ask someone to taste that broccoli? The broccoli's so I will, yes. And the yes, mesh chef. is cold. Yes, chef. OK, he wants you to try the broccoli, so the broccoli is almost raw. <laughs> the mash is cold, and the demi-glaze is too thick. And okay. the meatloaf is bland. OK. Every time he had a comment or a criticism, it's pretty ridiculous. I've been here for 20 years. I had to have done something right. Maybe he's not the answer. Are we done?
Um, I go through the kitchen. Let's go and say hello and meet everybody. Hi, guys. Hello. Oh, hello, Chef Lindsay. Uh, this is Greg. Greg. I'm Tisha. You work under Denise. Tish, yes. Do you think she's going to listen to anything he says? I hope so. I don't think she will. She might snap, freak out like the <laughs> yeah. wicked witch. This is a comfort food restaurant, right? Yes. And when I think of comfort food, I think of meatloaf and other excitement. That's bland. And the Big Bay seafood sandwich. Crab, delicious, but underneath you've got these stone cold shrimp. It's horrible aftertaste. Fish and chips, the fish is overcooked, the batter is just falling off it. And you hand cut those fries. Yes. They're cooked dreadfully. Do you season them and taste them before they go out? We do not season the fries. You don't season fries? No, we don't. Is this you? Yeah. But you told them they can't season a fry. Fast food joints season fries, for God's sake. Does no one care? I mean, there's not much to say, you know. It's the, what we have. It's the menu that we have laid out, and it's the you recipes. Can do better. We can. Do you enjoy cooking this? I don't enjoy cooking our menu food. Perfectly. It's just dull. I mean, when we do try to change things, you know, it's always, oh, I don't like it like this. You know, we. Who we, doesn't like it? Denise. So you're telling me you can do better than what's on the menu? Yeah. I thought the problems were on the outside. You've got them on the inside and the outside. Combine both, and I'm amazed you're still open. I know that we have a good product, and I'm not going to let anybody get in my way, including Chef Ramsay. Did so, I ever taste the meatball? Fuck, Tommy. Yes. Come here. I just want you to taste that for me. Come on. I mean, it's fucking disgusting. And if anyone tells me again that their food is amazing, I'm going to blow my lid. It's like cat food. Come on, Tommy. It's definitely up to Tommy to make sure everything goes out perfect, nothing comes back, and the restaurant runs smooth. I mean, that's the main problem right now. I don't even care no more, man. How's everything, ladies? It's greasy and watery. And I tried to eat it, but I really don't want it. That's all right. John, what, what's the matter with it? Um, it's stringy and it's wittery. All right, Tom, I think you need to go back in the back and check on your cooks. Keep going back there. It's nervous, just... man. I'm afraid. Tommy needs to stand up for himself. I'll go expedite. Hey, you go expedite. You go expedite. You want expedite. Now you're acting stupid. Instead of him going back there and talking to his chef, he's hiding and leaving it up to me. And it's not supposed to be like that. All right, now I'm getting mad. Put the food that we need up. Yous are messing up my own friggin' restaurant. Give me table 10 and give me the pasta specials. <sighs> what a nightmare. Honestly, Dina, she's trying her best. Tommy, well, he's not even there. He's just all over the shop. No wonder there's so many complaints. This restaurant's just not going anywhere. It's such a shame. Hey, look at that. That's disgusting. How's everything? Everything is oil. Yeah, I dream. Give me three bowls right here, real quick. Three bowls? Yeah, I'm a dream. It's too oily. What is all that? It's a bowl, Tom. He's putting too much oil. I didn't want to go back there. And... So you're not going to say anything to him? Yeah, I'm going to. Uh... Yeah. Let me go back no, and see. No, I'll go. Now, give me the, no, well, give me the, give me the oil. Felipe, look. No. Just all swimming in oil. And you weren't going to say anything. You can't drain that off like that and then serve it back to the customers. They deserve better than that. Who said drain it out? No, that's what he was doing on the side. He's draining the fucking thing on the he side. Said a little bit of oil drained out. That's right. Who said? The, the, it's shit, the, Tommy. It should have oil, right? Yeah. But it's so simple. And do you know what? Hey, Tommy! This is getting embarrassing. My God. Dysfunctional owners and a dysfunctional kitchen. I'm already embarrassed in life. You can't embarrass me anymore, but guess what? I found out that you can't be embarrassed even more. In this rock bottom, you can hit even deeper than rock bottom. Put it up! Let's go! I don't know what you're doing! When I tell you I need him, I'm telling you that's the one. And everybody get it together. With Dina now firmly in charge of the kitchen. Craggy! Craggy. And Tommy retreating to the basement. Let's just put up the two tables and end it. This extremely rocky dinner service comes to an end. I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm just almost uh, lost of words. But even when food was coming back, no one gave a shit.
No one gives a damn. We're serving shit. And you tell me your food's good. I think our food is really good. You're going to have to get your head out of your ass. And Tommy, I fell for you today. I just thought you were under immense pressure, but you hide like it's a game. I'm not here to play a game with any of you. I just, I the confrontation at the time right now, I'm not feeling that great. Confrontation? We're not even a confrontation. It's about being responsible, Tommy. Yes. Orichetti was swimming in oil. You're draining it off. This is not a time to be nervous and wimping around. But right now, you're all in denial. And do you know what? Do you know how you can turn this around and make money? Honestly, Dina, Tommy, Stop and save your fucking money. Shut the door. Want me to start plating them up? Yeah, I got them. I got them. You're good for right now. Greg is definitely getting backed up. He's like, I'm here to help you. All right, can you grab me a... Uh... No, I'm Never mind. There is no question that Greg works hard in the kitchen. You good, boss? Want me to jump down there? I got him, man. But he also prefers working alone. Mm -hmm. Which translates to painfully slow delivery of food. It's kind of hungry. Yeah. It's been an hour. And unhappy customers. How long are you waiting? 10 minutes? 20 we minutes? We ordered like 40 minutes. 40 minutes? OK, yeah. let me check. Greg, I need beef five right now. Babe, I can only got two hands, yes? I Everybody's know, waiting. But it's only chicken enchiladas, small and pork. Come on. Do you want ice cold pork or do you want it hot? Oh, give me number five. B five, please. The food is late. Here, I'm working on them. I'm working on them. Oh, my God. There's seven of you out there and two of us back here. She's killing me, man. Yeah, I feel you. I can't take her coming back and telling me that I'm doing it wrong or it's taking too long. It's deflating. B five. It's coming right now, dear. OK, I got it. After customers wait as much as 90 minutes, Greg finally pushes food out of the kitchen. OK. But when the overpriced, slow food arrives, I don't like this at all. it does little to please the customers. It tastes like someone like dumped a bunch of salt on it. The, the, this is really greasy, so I'm not sure. Really what? Greasy. Greasy? All right, pork, chicks, and tomorrow, shrimp, mojo, sloppy bear. Greg. One enchilada's taking back because again. Babe, I gotta get this food out. Okay, but you need to understand what is the problem right now. I can't talk to you right now. Let me finish. Okay, dear. I don't get mad at Mary for telling me what the customer feedback is. And everybody is complaining with enchilada. But she wants me to sort of drop everything and listen to her. Despite Mary's constant critiques, come on, Greg. Greg keeps it together. All right, we're in the home stretch, man. This is the last table right here. And finishes dinner service. Thank you. Have a good night. Guys, can you just leave us alone for two minutes, please? No problem. No problem. Okay. Greg, it's just not the way to run a business. You're so submerged into it that you. You don't even realize what you've taken on. And you have a wife that is happy to see you do that. So I'm pissed with her in the way that I'm not saying she's driving you into the ground, but I didn't see any support there tonight. I'm sorry. I mean, I, it's a big difference between nagging and, and being supportive. The whole weight of this restaurant is on my shoulders. You know, she says, hire somebody to cook. Well, the money's not there. You know, whatever. What am I going to do? Guys, can you just give me two minutes, please? Please? I'm worried, Greg. I don't know any other way to do it, Jeff. Have you ever actually like, sat down and said to me, I, I, I fucking need you in here, whether you like it or not. And if I didn't know the background, watching the way you two liaise with each other, I'd never believe that I was husband and wife, ever. We don't act like husband and wife ever. anymore. It's, it's just too dangerous, buddy. It's just, it's, it, it's so fragile in here. It's all built around just you. And between you and I, do you think that's healthy? Come no, on. I don't think that's healthy. Come on. My family depends on me. I don't want to let them down. You can't do it on your own. There has to be a way. There has to be a way. I can't let it fail. I mean, I just can't. 